Welcome back. Uh, President Obama is expected to meet with the House Republican Conference later this morning. Our next two guests are here to show bipartisanship still exists in Washington. At least we can hope. And uh, they're calling on congressional members to rise above Senator Gene Shaheen, uh, member of the Appropriations Committee, and Senator uh, Johnny Isaacson, member of the Finance Com Committee. Good morning to both of you. Um, Good morning. How do we get from here to October 17th and, and make it all work out? Do, we, do you guys ha have a plan since you're both uh, standing right next to each other? Well, the fact that people are talking, I think, is very good news. But our plan is really Senator Isaacson's legislation that was introduced several years ago that I've joined him on, and that is to look at the budget process and see if we can't bring more sanity to the budget process. And that's what the biennial budgeting bill would do. Right. Yeah, we're in this problem we're in today because we haven't done our job. We need to restructure the way the Senate appropriates and the way we set our budgets so we know we run out of money at the end of the fiscal year and have a crisis every, every 12 months. And so explain exactly what you're proposing. Basically, it's a biennial budget where you appropriate for two years in the odd-numbered year. You do oversight and accountability in the even-numbered year. Don't you think it changed the whole paradigm if during election years we were doing oversight, looking for savings, rather than appropriating money and trying to bring home the bacon? And, you know, 20 states have biennial budgets. I had one when I was governor of New Hampshire. It worked very well. Um, we brought in the budget on time, and I think if we had this kind of system at the federal level, we would avoid some of the grandstanding that goes on around the budget. It would really give people a chance to look at what programs are effective, where we can find savings, where we need to invest, and that's really what the bill is all about. Realistically, practically, what, what is the chances that uh, you can get your colleagues on both sides of the aisle to actually agree to this? It, it just seems that the current structure, and, and nobody thinks the structure is a good one, but it does allow for all of the grandstanding you just talked about, and so many people in Congress in Washington depend on that. Well, this year in the budget debate, Senator Shaheen and I offered the biennial budget as an amendment, amendment to the budget. We got two-thirds of the Senate, 67 votes in favor of it. I think that's a good sign the Senate's ready to make the change. Um, for both of you, what, what is your sense on the possibility that we actually do have a thaw here? Is it okay, is it acceptable if we get a process, meaning we extend the debt ceiling for, let's say, four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, and there's some kind of special super committee or something of that sort. Is, is that the right way to, to go? Well, obviously, I think we should open the government. I think we should raise the debt ceiling to make sure that businesses and have some certainty that no, no the economy doesn't crash. Um, but if we can get an agreement in the short term that allows us to get to that point long term, then... I'm willing to take a look at that and see if it's something we can support because the most important thing is to get the government up and running again and to make sure that there's no default on paying our bills. I agree. We don't need a super committee. We need to sit down at the table, work this out ourselves. It's our responsibility. The American people are counting on us. Okay. Senators, uh, we appreciate it. Uh, you guys are models for uh, hopefully everybody else in Washington. We'll see uh, whether, whether you can uh, get everybody in line. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks. Supermodels. Supermodels.